Hello and welcome to Campus 101 special series. My name is Dr. Peter and today I want us to talk about a very important topic. What school are you going to go to? What university do you want to attend? And while I'm going to be talking about university here, it applies to those who are going to College of Education. Alright, College of Education and those who will be even going to Polytechnics. Alright, so the principles are the same. You understand? So listen attentively to what we are going to be doing here. Whether you are going to a college of education or you are going to a polytechnic, listen to attentively to what we are going to be doing and saying here today. Now, there are five things you must consider. Alright, there are five important things you must consider before you choose and decide to which university you want to apply to. The first and the most important point you need to remember is what course are you going there to study? What course are you going there to study? Because this is the problem most students face. You want to go to university to go and study a course, and then the course you want to study in that university, the university does not apply or does not offer it. That's a waste of one year. You understand? So make sure that the course you want to study is offered in that university. So if you want to study medicine, you want to study law, you want to study business administration, make sure that the university that you are applying to has the course that you want to apply for. I hope that is very clear. This is very, very critical. The next important thing you need to know is what is the cost? What is the cost? And by cost, I mean what is the tuition fee? Like how much do they pay for school fees? You cannot just go to a school like that. When you go to school, you pay what they call tuition or school fees, right? So school fees. So how much is the school fees in the school you want to attend? Are your parents or your sponsors, are they buoyant enough to be able to sponsor you? All right, so it's important to know so that you can know whether you're going to get sponsorship. You understand? So it's important to know whether you'll be able to afford schooling in that um, institution. I'm going to talk more about course when I go to the various type of universities we have in Nigeria. Now, the third and the most imp- third important point you need to know here is also what we call cut-off points, cut-off mark. Now, most of you are going to be taking jam. Various universities have different cut-off points. The average cut-off point for most universities in Nigeria is 180. If you have below 180, you are not going to be admitted. They will say they are not giving you admission. However, from 180 and above, most schools will begin to consider you for admission. But I must tell you that the higher you score, the better. The better for you. The higher you score, the better for you. This is very important. So even though the cutoff point generally is 180, as given by Jam, you must that's this is what you must call in Jam. You must make sure you aim for a higher mark. The higher you score, the better. So this is very important. So you are applying for university. You must know which course that you are going to study in that university, how much, what cost, and then the cutoff points. You can see all of them are starting with C's. So it's very important to know this. Now, another important thing is location. Location. So where is the school? Somebody is living in Lagos State. And you want to go and so school in Sokoto. Or you want to go and school in Bauchi State. That's a very far distance. It's not impossible to do this, but I'm saying that when you want to study, you should know the location. Where is the school? Where is your home? And where is the school? And what is the distance between there and your school? So that you can know what's up. You can know how to prepare and know what to have in your mind. Because going to a school requires you for for you to travel for post UTME. Alright? Post UTME. And when you go for post UTME, that's a long journey. You need to have an idea of where your school is located the school you desire to study where is the school located so you need to know these very important things now now let's talk about something very very critical very very critical if you were sleeping before make sure you sit up and listen to me because this is very very important when choosing a university you need to know that there are three types of universities in nigeria private universities all right private owned universities state universities all right so states owned universities and then federal universities all right now private universities are owned by individuals or companies or groups or churches depending state universities are owned by the state government so for example we have various states so we have various universities for example abia 
or let's say let's say Bainway State University, Biosa State, Delta State University. So you'll be hearing names like that. Then the federal universities are universities that are named that are owned by the federal government of Nigeria. So you'll be hearing schools like what well, Unilag, Uniport, Unical, Uniben. Those are federal universities. Now, private universities are there are about seventy five private universities in Nigeria. There are about sixty three state universities in Nigeria and there are about um, 64 federal universities in Nigeria now even though these schools are so much you need to be aware that getting admission into these schools is not a child's play it takes quite an effort now private schools are expensive there are some schools there are some private um, institutions in Nigeria a private university that pay up to 1.2 million naira tuition fee now, if, if your parents or your sponsors, those who are paying your school fees, they are able to afford this, then you can go to a private university. Do you understand? Getting admission into a private university is more of a matter of if you can afford it. So, affording it is a very important point when you come to private universities in Nigeria. Now, this is what you need to know about state universities. State universities are, there are about 63 of them in Nigeria. However, if I am from and you, you need to be you need to pay attention to this point if i am from delta state and i'm just using this as an example and i'm applying to i'm from delta state and i'm applying to kaduna state university now you need to know that the state that state is also interested in making sure that the citizens of the state the indigenous of the state are also educated so they are going to pay more attention to someone who is from Kaduna state before they are going to pay attention to me who is from what who is from delta state what am i saying when you're applying to a state university it is better you apply to a state to your own state university that's your own state of origin or state of or state universities that are not too far from you so if i'm from the southwest it's better to apply to schools in the southwest you understand so it's important because they will favor the indigenous of that state first and when they finish favoring then maybe the, the quota or the admission slots might be exhausted and you might not be admitted so it's very important to know this when you're applying to a federal university to a state university rather now federal universities are one of the are some of the biggest schools we have in the country they are very big and they admit a lot of students but you must know that federal universities are the competition is high these are the best schools in nigeria but the competition is high so whenever you're applying to a federal university you must make sure you score very high obviously that's important and then secondly when you're applying to a federal university make sure that you also know what we call catchment area now at the end of this video and also in our campus 101 and book our jam unlocks question and answer booklet which we which we are giving students to practice for jam you can take a look at it so that you know in that book we discuss catchment area and the various catchment areas of the various federal universities in nigeria so that you can know because each federal university in nigeria have cut um, admit students from about 10 to 12 states so that you can know which federal universities take students from your particular region of the country this is very important and it's very simple universities pick federal universities favor students from about 10 states not one state about 10 to 15 states so if you are from that state you have a higher tendency of getting admission to a federal school federal schools are cheaper they are bigger they admit more students however the competition is high and then you need to consider catchment area when you're applying to a federal university so once again guys before you start knowing talking about connection and whether a school gives admission or not you must make sure that you the course you are applying is in the university of your choice you can afford your parents can afford the payment of the school fees for the university of your choice you get you score the cut off mark in your jam and as well as the post me also the location of the school so you know where the school is and then lastly i told you about that three types of universities in nigeria and i told you that I told you private schools are quite expensive, state schools favor indigenous of the state and federal schools as big as they are, they are competitive and you need to watch out for catchment area. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video where we are going to be discussing how to choose your preferred course in the university. Cheers.